So this is the objective of our of our topic. So kinetics is the study of motion without going into its causes. And this chapter deals with motion along straight line, example rectilinear motion. The motion is the change in position of object with respect to time. So these three you can ma akatara ni siyang encounter while ga, going mis among reports. So first <coughs> next Earl. So So first topic is called sc scalars and vectors. So scalars is the distance travels or it ha it has independent direction. It's an object speed v or speed is how fast an object it's going. It's always positive. The formula is v subscript e b equal angle d over angle t. While the displacement, while the vector is the displacement of an object equal to the final possession minus the initial possession. It is velocity that includes direction. In one dimension, the direction of velocity is specified by the positive and negative sign. The formula is vector subscript EV equal angle displacement over angle T. So the difference between the two is the scalar is more on distance, speed, mass, temperature, while the vector is displacement, velocity, force, and acceleration. So, Earl Merg, not an example, and Earl, no? Okay. Hello, Earl. Katong ay mong ipuan. Earl. Ala, delete na kung makuan. Ikuan na lang. Dayan na lang. Eh, wala naman ako na. Hindi na ta mag... So, hindi na ta mag... Ano, example? Na may example. Sunod, ano eh. Ito na lang. Ah, okay, okay. So, so next is the distance and the displacement. Distance is the length of actual path taken to go from source to destination. It's a scalar quantity that refers to how much ground an object has covered during its motion. While displacement, it is covered... It is a vector quantity that refers to how far out of a place of an object. It is the object overall change in position. So like example. Katu dong, katong isa dong ka example. Well, katong di pa insert, dito na ako si Moa. Wait na. Oh, wait. Wait. Na stop. Na stop. Na stop siya Earl. So, well, gakuan pa si Earl. Pwede maghatag na lang sa kung example about ad tong kanang example sa di katong vic scalars and vector so this is our example equation since naman tami na nakasend bang kuanis mo earl ba pwede natin na to mapakita sila ha palag picture lang picture o oh, ako right lang oh, sige sige so this is the equation so if Earl was able to travel five, five kilometer north in one hour in her car, what was her average velocity? So in order to solve the average velocity, we'll, we will use the formula vector equal displacement over angle T or change in time. So that's the answer. That's number, baka tong. Okay, can you example man natin sa atong displacement o guan? Well? Ito uh, yung mag-isa ng formula. So, so, since uh, na, nag-travel those Earl to 5 kilometer north in 1 hour, so, we have vector 
equal 5 kilometer north since our 5 kilometer is our displacement and our time is 1 hour. So to get the average velo velo velocity, we will follow the procedure in basic math. So we have vector equal 5 kilometer per hour to the north. So muna ang average velocity ni, ni Earl pag travel niya to north. So while to get the speed or rate mod sa kwan mo ni sa katong sa scalars we will use the formula r rate or speed rate or speed equal d over t so since we have the displace or distance or displacement we have 5 km over 1 r equal dinhi mo l i kato kato bitong ako orang gisulat so since we have the r equal the formula r equal d over t so r equal five kilometer over one hour so to get rid of kilometers so so we will follow the procedure so in basic math which is we will this read or we will read the kilometers so we will uh, what what I mean is, ang R kay convert na to siya sa minute. So, since we all know that ang, ki ang kilometer kay kwan siya, one, uh, ang one hour is nag-consume, uh, ang kilometer nag-consume siya o one, 1,000 minutes. So, in order nga ma, at, at, nara siya. Di kayo maklaro, El, ba? I if, if I zoom na lang ninyo para maklaro ninyo, so, Narata sa sa mo nito rate or speed nata so r equal d over t so r equal five kilometer per hour so we will follow the basic math so that's why atong gi crash out si kilometer so na guanta o guanta sa minutes so para crash out na atong kilometer so equal five times one thousand meter per hour na kay na class na crash out naman nato si kilometer so mo na dayon siya gi times na po dayon nato si Para makash out na to ang hour, ito na pong gi-trans, gi gi-convert to seconds. So, muna din ni siya at now nag-result din taog. 5,000 over 3,600 3, per meter per second. So, ato na silang i-divide. So, para makuha na din na to ang, ato ang rate or speed sa kakusgun sa pag-travel pag ni Earl. So, muna ng atong velocity is 5 kilo sa kwan 5 km over r to the north din ang ato yang kusgon kay 1.3 meter per second so next example kay sa displacement so this is the example of our sa Katon dis displacement. So if we add, the so mo na nato example. So para makuha makuha nato ang iyang value. So at ato lang i pao nato tanan iyang value. Like example, ang val ang distance ni A C D to B. So ang ilang distance all kwanta nang kay 180. Ato pa rin kwao ng distance ni C to D. So nasa distance ng 100. 100 meter then ato na po din kuha ng distance ni A o D so maka equivalent po din siya og 140 so same process ng Japan siya then sa para makuha na to tanan ang iyang imo na sulat ang question ani niya Earl wala ako sa ako na lang sa nakuha na So, mone yung question, use the diagram to determine the resulting displacement and the distance traveled by the skier during these three minutes, then click the button to... So, mone siya ang diagram. So, ato lang pa itawin yung displacement and the distance gitraveled by the skier. So, atong given data nga nakikita ito kay nat na makakuha ito ang data during 180, kay mone yung sa mona ang distance sa A, C, D, ug B. Then na rin tayo data nga 100 distance sa C, ug D. Then na rin tayo data nga 140 distance sa A, C, padulong sa D. So, to get the distance, we will 
all add the we will get the sum of the given data so to get the sum of all data we will using addition no so one 180 meter 180 meters plus 100 meters plus 140 meters we will get 420 meters so mana ang yang displacement then then sa so if we not as if we add them all the skier covers a distance of 180 meters plus 140 meters plus 100 meters equal 420 meters and has a displacement of 140 meters rightward so more more to dito ako nag-end akong topic earl okay. <clears throat> uniform motion when equal displacements occur during any successive equal time intervals is always along a straight line as you can see an object's, mo object's motion is uniform if and only if its position versus time graph is a straight line. The, the average velocity is the slope of the position versus time graph. The SI unit of velocity are meter per, uh, meter per seconds. So as you can see, the, the formula, velocity is equal to angle x over ta, angle ta, angle time t or angle y over angle t is equal to slope of the position versus time for example when driving a bike at a perfectly steady 60 km per hour Excuse me. Lang. Uh, it's not red angle x it's it's rather delta okay, okay. Delta, no? Delta na siya. Ay, o, delta. De delta um, means change, no? Okay, please continue. Okay, example. While driving a bike at a perfectly steady 60 km per hour, this means there is a change in the position by 60 km for every time interval of one hour. As we can see, the dots are equal displace displacement. The displacement between successive frames are the same. Thus, are equally space velocity is constant. Speed and velocity. Distance traveled per unit time or the displacement per unit time. Speed is equal to distance over time, meter per second. Velocity is equal to displacement over time, meter per second. When an object is, is traveling along a straight line, its velocity is equal to its speed. This is the example graph of distance time graph and velocity time graph. And for the instantaneous velocity and Instantaneous velocity is an object that is speeding up or slowing. It is not in uniform motion. In this case, the positive versus time graph is not a straight line. We can determine the average speed velocity between any, any two times separated line by time interval delta T e by finding the slope of the straight line connection between the two the instantaneous velocity is the object's velocity at a straight instant of time, which is t. The average velocity, v is equal to delta s over delta t, becomes a better and a better approximation to the instantaneous velocity as delta t gets smaller and smaller. Velocity interval is equal to... I'm sorry, but time is up. Okay, um, Irvin and Earl, uh, congratulations, no, for, uh, for your report. Uh, I, I think it, it is well prepared. Galin lang, um, naabgan mo sa time. But anyway, alright, nakuha naman nato ang basic na idea. 
Uh, Earl, naanat ay, na na may copy ang nag-submit sa yung PowerPoint? Well, wala pa sa... Uh, later okay. na lang, no? Uh, make sure na mag-submit mo o PowerPoint dito sa Drive. Nag-create na po o Drive. So, anytime, no? i-upload lang dito, Earl. Okay na, Earl? Yes, sir. Okay lang. Okay. Uh, group 1, can we go back to group 1? Ready na mong group 1? Andy? Okay na, sir. Sige, so balik na sa inyo, Andy, kay there are assumptions in the topic of Earl and, Ar and Irvin na uh, sa inyo na itong topic ma-trace ma up. No? Ready na? Uh, Mag-share na pa, sir. Timekeeper. Ready na, Zai? Zai. Ah, yes. Ready na ka? Oo. <laughs> uh, Zyrel, you are, you are also a reporter, no? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sige, Earl, pwede ikaw na sa ang timekeeper. 15 minutes lang, no? And then, when, ano na, pag 10 minutes left, mag-chat lang ka, no? I-chat lang ni mo, 10 minutes left. Pag 5 minutes left, chat lang again, 5 minutes left. And then kung time na, uh, you can raise your hand, no? Just what like Zyrel did. Nakuha ni mo, Earl? Sige, sige. Okay, start na. Okay. So, good afternoon, everyone. Um, this afternoon, we are going to tackle about victors. So, under the victors, we have the four chapter outline. The first two chapter outline, ako ang mag-discuss. So, we go next, Andy. Andy? Okay, so, Andy. Okay, so, 2.1, scholar and vectors. So, by the word scholar, a young synonym is number. So, what is scholar quantity is a physical quantity that can be specified. A young example is time, mass, distance, length, volume, temperature, and energy. So, scholar quantities that have the same physical unit can be added or subtracted according to the usual rules of algebra for numbers. Example, a class ending 10 minutes late earlier than 50 minutes last. So, imong buhatan is, para makuha ang time niya, 50 minutes minus 10 minutes is would be equal to 10 minutes. Monang example sa time. And for the energy example, wala si Andy. Okay, magpadala na ako. So, the second example is a, a 60 calorie serving of corn followed by a 200 cal serving of donut gives a 60 calories plus 200 calories would be equal to 60, 260 calories of energy. Muna siya ang scholar. Imurang i-add o pwede siya, sa, siya ma um, subtract. And then, many physical quantities, however, cannot be described completely by just a single number. Example, when the U.S. Coast Guard dispatches a ship or helicopter for a rescue mission, dili man mo na mabal andayin kung unsa yung katas on. So, kinahanglan yun ni mo mabal an yung distress signal o ganyang direction. So, dili na din ma-apply ang vector quantities. What is vector quantities, by the way? So, vector quantities is a physical quantities specified 
completely by giving a number of units. Unit means magnitude and direction. So, um, examples of uh, vector quantities or vector R quantities include displacement, velocity, position, force, and torque. So, in the language of mathematics, physical vector quantities are presented by a mathematical object called vector. So, ang nag-represent sa vector is kanang arrow. We can add or subtract two vector and we can multiply a vector by a scalar or by another vector. But we cannot divide by a vector. The operation of division by a vector is not defined. So, ang for example, the vector is kaning so yung wala si Andy naanta to yung illustration dito. Example, basta kanana siya yung arrow and then kanang ulo niya nga nagtudlo siya mo na siya ang represent sa direction. Ano man to? And then, um, under sa vector, I under sa scalar and vector is algebra in one dimension. <clears throat> vectors can be multiplied by scalars added to other vectors or subtracted from one from other vectors. One dimensions vectors has no dimensions but a number of components. Later, we discuss na to sa ng components. Then the second one is algebra of vectors in two dimensions. What is two dimension? When a vector line, when a vectors lie in a plane, that is when they are in two dimensions. They can be multiplied by scalars added to other vectors or subtracted from other vectors. Here is the two dimension. Wala naman si Andy, so ako na lang mag, mag, um, Saan pag back? Here. Example. Maklaro. So, kuhan lang na ito nga mo ni ang Cartesian plane. Ah, gakurug ko. Sorry. We have two, um, two axes. The first one is, hindi siya maklaro. Kani. Moni ato ang x axis. And then this is the y axis. From the origin, we can dire sa start. Padung dire, moni siya ang vector. Vector, ang tawag ani is vector A. So, get the vector, kinahangla ni mo makuha ang two dimension. So, gikan ka dire mag start. Um, the unit vector. Into the direction of the vector. Okay. Next step, so, kung pa doon sa taas para matupong ni mo siya dire. Muni siya ang vector, a unit vector in the direction of y. So, adding this two vector would be the vector a. Okay, next. Wait lang. Um, ah, naman ta. So, oh my goodness. Uh, Zyrel, excuse me. Sir? Uh, Andy? Sir, sorry, good kayo, sir. Ah, sige, ikala ka lang. Can we continue with your presentation? Kung slides ninyo, no? Yes, sir. Naa na, Andy? Asa na ka, Zay? Um, sa ako, an? Katong two dimensions. Can I? Uh, okay. Wala 
Okay, balik ko. So, sa two dimension, if you take a vector starting at the origin, call is A, ato kung gito dulo ganiha, then two dimensions, you can always write it as the sum of two vectors. Katong gikan sa ubos into the direction of x-axis. If mag-stop ko dito, tungod sa arrow ni vector A, then dito, kung asa ka nag-stop, one in the direction of x and the other in the direction of y-axis. Katong paibabaw. So this is the sum of a vector here in the direction of x. So, pag ma-add na ni mo ang duha ka vector, unit vector, sa x and y axis, mo na din siya ang length or um, if I am not wrong, sa kuan, vector. So, next, 2.2, coordinate system and components of a vector. So, vectors are usually described in terms of their components in a coordinate system. A vector component of a vector is its part in an axis direction. The vector components is the product of the unit vector of an axis with its color components along this axis. Ang um, mag-view na sad ko og otro, kay naamagod sa video tong ako um, visual, but na misplaced na ko. Here. Sorry, ngit-ngit yun siya. So, sa three dimension under sa um, coordinates and um, coordinate system and components of a vector, this is my Cartesian coordinate system of three dimension. We have we need kinahanglan na ato og three axes. And this, more sharp corners sa room. This is the Z, I mean the X, and Y axis, and Z axis. Um, example, mo siya ang corner sa room, kani mo siya ang floor. And then this one, mo sila ang wall. Um, ang kani da yun nga ka ng, the unit vector into the direction of Y, kani? Mo ni siya ang tawag nga, um, I i hat i hat and the dili sa padung sa direction ni um y mo ni siya ang j hat and then dili sa pagbabaw pa padung sa z axis mo ni siya ang gitawag nga k hat ang tao may pagkuha sa three dimension here mo ni ang di ba mo ni ang three dimension X, Y, and Z. Bilis ako muna pagkuha sa vector A. Kung saan man pagkuha, nga makuha siya, maad ang tulo ka dimension. First nga kong buhatan is, kuha on ako ang unit vector pa dong sa direction ni X. You can diri. And, wala na sa si Andy. Diri taman. Muna rin siya ang, and then, pag stop na ko diri, Padulong na po po sa direction ni Y. Diri ko magsugod yung asas siya ni Hunong. Diri, ana. And then, stop. Padulong na po 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 sa Z axis. Here. Oops. Dayon, gikan diri sa sinugdanan, diri taman sa katapusan. Mauna dayon ang vector sa A. Ang sa'y tawag ani sa gikan dire, paingon dire. Ang tawag niya is, mo na siya ang A1 I hat. And then kanina po da yun, dire nga side, mo na ang A2 um, J hat. Then kanin, gikan sa vector unit pa sa Z axis, mo na siya ang A3 K hat. So by the way, sorry, ang kaniding angle, yung um, degree ani is 90 degree, 90 and 90. So, kung i-add ni mo ning tulo ka um, vector, vector unit, mo na din siya ang sum of the vector A. Mo na din na siya ang makuha. Ah, tiga nga. So, more na nga ako ang um, topic. Then, the last 
to nga chapter outline would be discussed by my group mates. Thank you. Ate Resh. Good afternoon, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, classmates. So this is my report, the 2.3 algebra of vectors. Vectors can be added together and multiplied by scalars. So there are four there sa presentation, but I will not discuss it one by one since we are familiar about that already. So we will proceed directly to the example 2.11. Example 2.11. Vector algebra. Find the magnitude of the vector C that satisfies the equation 2 vector A minus 6 vector B plus 3 vector C is equal to 2 hat J, where vector A is equal to hat I minus 2 hat K, and vector B is equal to hat negative J plus hat K over 2. So let's have the solution. Wait lang. Can I not say Baba Rish? Tapad Sakoan, speaker Nana. I wait. Naka of come courage. Oh, I will not. Pa. I had a bit day. Kanang ibabaw sa nasa babaw bitaw na ada in sa right side. Ay nara. Nara nara. Nana. Okay, makita ra. Yeah. I stuck kay against the light. Shall wait lang. Okay, na. Okay, so here's the solution. First, we will copy the equation. Mauni siya ang atong equation. Then we will have the transpose process para makuha na to need and solve. And then after that, we will find, we will substitute vector A and vector B. Na dito sa problem solution ganina, kung unsa ang atong value sa vector A o vector B. Mauni siya ang ato ang value. Then we will, then we, we, will, we will solve it. Then mauni rin siya atong makuha ang answer. And then we will, arrange it accordingly since di ba in this side wala man siya na arrange kay na una ang hat j i then ay ang k so we will arrange it from hat i hat j and hat k and then this will be the answer and then after that pangitao na to ang value ni cx cy and cz si cx cy si cz is maunin maunin ni siya and then we will, finally we will substitute Diha sa equation 2.21, nakastate diha is ang vic a, vector A is equal to nadaghan. But in this one, since we are looking for the magnitude C, so we will use this one C and then we will solve. Then this will be the final answer. Okay, next to that is the addition and subtraction of vectors. I will erase first that. Okay, so for, addi for the addition and subtraction of vectors, we have vector addition is defined to have the, the property A plus B is equal to B plus A. There do exist quantities having magnitude and direction that do not obey this requirement. For the vector subtraction, it is defined as A minus B is equal to A plus negative B, where the negative B has the same magnitude as B but the opposite position direction. Then in getting the vector addition, we can use these two laws, the triangle law of vector addition and the parallelogram law of vector addition. As we go along on our discussion, we will further know on how we are going to apply this law of vector addition. So we will have first the 
Parallelogram Law of Victor Edition. Okay, so to find the sum of which of these vector, it doesn't matter which of these two laws we are going to apply, the parallelogram or the, the triangle law of Victor addition, it is because we, still we can get the same value or the same answer. So let's first consider the parallelogram law of Victor addition. So for instance, we have this Victor B and Victor A. Then we move the Victor B parallel to its position such that its initial point will coincide to the initial point of Victor A. Then we we will draw then we will draw lines parallel to the Victors A and B to form a parallelogram O, A, C, and B. And then this diagonal O, C is the sum of our Victor A and our Victor B. We can also write that as Victor OE plus Victor OB is equal to Victor OC. Now, let's see if still we can get the same answer if we will use the triangle law of Victor addition. To apply this law, we need to place Victor B such that its initial point will coincide to the dominal point of Victor A. Now, observe this parallelogram. We notice that this line AC will be parallel to Victor B. Since the length of the sides OB and AC are equal, so the side AC will also represent the Victor B. Now, consider this triangle. OAC represents Victor A and Victor B. And according to the triangle law of Victor addition, this side OC, this side OC will represent the sum of Victors A and B. We can also write this as Victor OA plus Victor AC is equal to Victor OC. Therefore, we get the same result. Either Mugamita o parallelogram law of Victor addition or triangle law of Victor addition, Still, we can get the same result. Now, let's proceed to the subtraction of vectors. Excuse me, 15 minutes now. Huh? 15 minutes now, Nikoi. Naparabay ako ah. Okay, dali na lang ako. Okay, for the subtraction of victors, we have for the subtraction of victors, let's find the difference by the triangle of victor addition. To apply this law, we move the negative of victor B parallel to its position and place its initial point at the dominal point of victor A. Then the sum of these two victor will be this victor. So the difference between victor A and victor B is represented by this victor. So that's my report. Let's proceed to Mr. Valiente. Thank you. So we have product of vectors. So in product of vectors, we have two, the dot product and the cross product. So the first one is the dot product. The scalar product of vectors A, that ve vectors of B, of two vectors A and B is number defined by the equation A dot B is equal to AB cos phi. Vector product or the cross product. The vector product of two vectors A and B is defined by the A cross B and is often referred to as a cross product. The vector product is a vector product that its direction perpendicular to both vectors A and B. In other words, vector A cross B is perpendicular to the plane that contain con vectors A and B. The magnitude of the vector product is defined as A cross B is equal to AB cos phi. 
So, para mas dali na ito masagtan ang dot product and cross product, ang dot product represents A dot B while cross product represents A cross B. And the other term of dot product is a scalar product, then the cross product is vector product. Then ang answer sa dot product is just a number, then while sa cross product is another vector. So, in dot product, A dot B is equal to B dot A. While sa cross product, A cross B is not equal to B cross A. So, so this is example of solving a dot product. So, we have the given 3N, our theta is equal to 30 degrees, our B is equal to 5N. So, in finding that product, we have two ways. Pwede na siya bisag asa ni Mokuan. Ang atong una gamiton kay, ang A dot B is equal to AB cos theta. So, A dot B is equal to AB cos theta. So, our A is equal to 3N, our B is equal to 5N, cos 30 degrees. So, to simplify first, the 3N times 5N is equal to 15N squared. Then, our cos 30 degrees is equal to 0 0.866. So, simplify, we ended up to 12.99N squared. So, or simply round off to 13N squared. So, the second formula is A cross B is equal to A sub X, B sub X plus A sub Y and B sub Y. So our A sub X is equal to A cos theta is equal to 3N cos 30 degrees is equal to 2.598N. N, I mean, our A sub Y is equal to A sine theta is equal to 3N cos 30 degrees is equal to 1.5N. Our B sub X is equal to 5N, which is nanas given. Then our B sub Y is 0N. So there is no B sub Y in the given. So... Our A sub X, uh, A cross B is equal to A sub X, B sub X plus A sub Y, B sub Y. So, simply put in the formula. So, our A sub X is equal to 2.598N. Our B sub X is equal to 5N plus A sub Y is equal to 1.5N. Our B sub Y is equal to 0N. So, simplify 12.99N uh, 12 squared or simply round off to 13N squared. So next is the cross product. So our given is A is equal to 3i plus 5j minus 7k or B is equal to 2i minus 6j plus 4k. So A cross B. So A cross B is equal to the matrix of i, j, k. So our can I input lang ato ang mga values sa atong A and B. So our values of A is equal to 3i, 5j, and negative 7k. Then sa B, 2i, 6, ay negative 6j, ne um, 4k. So, our i, uh, this is a 2 by 2 matrix form. So, our i is equal to 5. So, I, I mean 5 and 7. Then, our b is equal to negative 6 and 4. Then, j is equal to 3 and negative 7, 2 and 4. Then, our k is equal to 3, 3 5. 2 and 6. So, diri na to i-apply atong cross product. So, 5 times 4 is equal to 20. Negative 6 times 7 is negative 42. Then, 3 times 4, 12. 2 times negative 7, 4, negative 14. 3 times 6, negative 18. 2 times 5, minus 10. So, equals na na siya. Simplify. Mana to, sir. Thank you. Okay, so group one, no? so very well prepared topic, no? Um, what's this one? Can you go back, Andy, sa imuhang first example sa that product? I think yeah. na kay uh, confusion gamay. Second to the last, yeah, no? Okay, sir. Okay, this one, no? Okay. Um, ang that product mong god, you you will get scalar product if you do the that product. No? So A dot B. No? Uh, but kini sa imong ubos, it's not really cross product A cross B. E kini A X B X plus A Y B Y. Mani siya ang expanded form sa that product. Dili ni siya formula sa cross product. So na lang kay siguro na na tawag ana andi kanang sayop lang siguro nimo ug tan-aw 
but that one is not the cross product. Ang cross product, ikatong matrix, next example, katong nag-matrix ka, kini, magini siya ang cross product, yun, no? So, it's good that you are using examples right away to uh, demonstrate the concept of cross product. So, if you're, if you're uh, vectors A and B are in three dimensions, nanong three dimensions man, kay, na kay I hat, J hat, and K hat. So, each of these unit vectors represents X axis, Y axis, and Z axis respectively. Uh, nakuha rin ninyo class. Andi na, sa to? Yes, sir. So, that's why katong sa imuhang Oh, wait, wait, class. Are you familiar with this kind of mathematics? Uh, matrices? Naabot ba ninyo sa inyo senior hall? Kinsa nakaabot, Ani? Sa <laughs> senior hall. Kamu, Andy? Well, familiar, sir, eh? Well, it's a senior algebra. Ron? Kung naamoy linear algebra sa inyong siguro grade 12 mathematics or grade 11 ba, most likely naka-encounter naka na mo ani, no? Ano yung process? Ay, nasa mo. Yes, Ron? Nasa mo ang linear, linear algebra nga subject, sir, pero mula pa na-discuss. I mean, karon karon nga linear algebra. Sir. Ah, okay, very good. Wala pa nyo discuss na eh, sa inyong linear? Anyway, um, yeah. I linear algebra, usually, in terms of matrices naman na na siya, no? So, kasolbon mo kung inverse of a matrix, dahil ka na, transformation of a matrix, sana. Uh, so, kini siya, simple lang niya siya, kay cross product raman. So, Daghan applications ani sa physics, no? Hasta po itong that product, daghan po kayo sa application. So, it's very good na ang group 1, may abot mo ani na topic kay para po na, you know, something new, na matawag ninyo nga learning on your part. And then, makonect po ninyo ni sa inyohang math major, no? Sa inyohang linear algebra, no? Di ba, Ron? So, pagpasok ninyo sa inyohang uh, linear algebra ng subject, well, kabalo na mo uh, unsa yung mga possible applications. No. Okay, ang... So, I want you to check this one. Practice ninyo ni, i-repeat ninyo ni. In such a way nga, makuha gin ninyo ang final answer nga. Negative 22 R minus 26 J minus 28 K. Now, these are all in arbitrary units. This could be in meters, this could be in uh, kilometers per hour. Ipindu ni siya sa si application ani, no? So, so Andy, pagki-review lang ko sa imong slides, no? Uh, Katawa lang akong i-pinpoint. So, kanina, uh, next, uh, katong before pa ani nga slide. Walang to siya yeah. mo hang i, ano Andy, ka nang i-correct, no? Is, oh, yes, sir. Oh, uh, it's not a a cross b. Ah, uh, namali lang siguro ka utan aw, but it's actually the expansion of that product. That, uh, okay, so uh, question so far regarding this, ano, uh, uh, successive topics. So group three, uh Maka report mo karon would you like to uh, report karon yes sir mga tan can i refrain mag report ta refrain hello refrain sige 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 ron <laughs> sige sige mag report me sir okay very good tulo mo ka buok ba ron and refrain yes sir yes sir ay katulo ninyo tumataw sir Ah, uh, okay. Nana ba si Catherine? Tong atong 
sir. Chat. Okay, thank you for oh. the chat. Sige, oh, sige. yes, sir. Okay, start na. So good afternoon everyone. Today we will be discussing about motion in two dimensions. So let me start with the 4.1 topic which is the displacement and velocity vectors. So displacement vectors we will use the coordinate x, y to locate a particle at point P of x, y. So diri mag focus lang ta since we are we are just focusing on two dimension nga kanang motion. We are just going to focus the x of y nga axis. So, sorry, sir, sir. Sorry for the disruption. <laughs> so, for the displacement vector, um, way ang apag... So, ang way pagkuha sa displacement vector, we, uh, ato rang kinangan i-subtract uh, ang position vector final o ang position vector initial. As we know nga, kung magkuanta og displacement, na o uh, na motion nga nahitabo. So, na beginning o na end So, for us to get the displacement vector, kinangan na nato i-subtract ang displacement vector sa end o ang displacement vector sa initial since inanaraman siya ka sa yon i will just going to send a handout sa inyo ha og mga examples kung saan siya pagkuha so proceeding uh, continuation sa 4.1 na atay velocity vectors so sa pagkuha sa velocity vector so let me ko an jump dito sa equation sa pagkuha sa velocity vectors kinanglan na nato siya uh, i-divide ang displacement vector o ang kuan change of time so tanaw na ko kung maka maka provide ko og example so i have here an example so na ko function diri which is v of t equals t squared minus 3 i hat so, I hat is a unit vector sa x-axis plus 0.5t cubed plus t, 2t j hat. Am I right? Kuan? J hat. Alagi. Ah, and j hat is a unit vector para sa y-axis. So, here we have the equation which is the velocity equals the displacement vector over time. So, Akong dibuhat diri, nag-assume ko nga na emotion nga nahitabo sa uh, na uh, sa time na emotion nga nahitabo sa zero nga time ug sa two nga time. So in, uh, for clarification, kibali nag-start uh, nag-end ko sa 2 seconds. Nag-start ko sa 0 second. So here, akong gibuhat diri is I just input the 2 in the equation zero to the equation and I divide it sa change of time nga nahitabo. So kung naate mga delta t and delta r nga ma-involve, ang meaning ana is we subtract ang final o ang initial. So mora siya ang nahitabo diri. So after plugging those koan ka ng uh, condition, mo ni ang na-result. So since paspas man kay ko pag-explain, I will just going to send the koan na sad po ang process or handout para ani nga example. So, after gyapon ato, gisimplify ra nako siya, naka-arrive ko ani o diri din sa final answer since velocity man ni siya, we end up with the unit nga meter per second. So, ako po dai we also include also ang mga unit vectors kung aha siya ga move sa i hat ba or sa x axis or sa y axis. So, sa, sa pag-proceed po na ako sa velocity vectors, ay, kuwan na ito guys, kaning uh, example, nagkuwan na ni siya sa average velocity. Kani siya, kaning akong show sa inyo ang example. 
And next, nga example is for the instantaneous velocity. So sa instantaneous velocity, simple ra siya. Kuhaan ra na to, og derivative ang atong function. Aw, diri nga example, kuhaan ra na to siya og derivative para maka-arrive ta sa instantaneous velocity. Diri man sa instantaneous velocity, instant atong gapang kuhaan na velocity or kanang dali ra kay siya nga kuan dali ra kay siya time nga nahitabo so mora to siya oo <laughs> so for for the equation sa instantaneous velocity kinangra na to siya uh, kuan lagi ang derivative sa velocity or di sa average velocity so for additional pod nga kanang information oops So for additional information this is about the independence of perpendicular motion. So ko ani siya appeal po ni siya sa akong topic pero ako ra siyang dalion kay sa inyo man ang concept. So sa indi sa independence perpendicular motion ang x ug y is independent with each other. That means nga dili sila paka-affect uh, uh, the whole uh, for the exact definition na lang The horizontal direction does not affect motion in the vertical direction. So, ang x o y permitted yun na sila independent when it independent when it comes to perpendicular motion. So, next tandi dirita sa acceleration vector. Aw, hindi I mean run. So for acceleration vector, this is 4.2 na topic. We have two kuan ani duha ka part, which is the instantaneous acceleration and the constant acceleration. So kung muhata ko example ani murag mo take siya og time. So I will be obligated again to send you a handout para mga kuan ani process o gang iyang process o mga examples. So I will just explain here kung unsa on siya pag uh, unsa ang equation nga gamiton. So for acceleration vector, ang mas simple ang mas simple niya ng uh, equation is for us to get the the uh, I will just read the equation which is acceleration of time equals the derivative of the velocity of time. So I know nga murag kwanjo to siya murag dili siya ma-imagine so yes mag kwa na lang lagi ko maghatag ko og handout ani and example niya para ma hanay siya pagka-explain nga no nakuha to nga mga equation for the last part I have here the constant acceleration for constant acceleration we have three um equation very important equation nga dapat na to uh dapat na to ko anon kanang hinumduman so very important ni siya because mo ni sila ang you ma use sa pagkuha sa mga examples so as you can see in the presentation or in the slides there are a lot of examples so in wala na ko siya na discuss because of limitations sa time so akong uh, the con uh, the concept that Nag-arrive po sa ako ha, is I will just going to give the exact examples nga nadira then katong equation nga mga akong na-discuss da yun mga process nga pagkuha sa mga result at to. So, for acceleration, atong, atong unit ani is meter per second square. So, that ends my report. Makita pa ninyo ang Kwan's presentation? O, oh, napa. Makita pa? Makita pa. Sige, wait na. So, good afternoon everyone. My topic is all about the projectile motion. So, what is projectile motion? It's the motion of an object thrown or projected into the air. So, ang motion daw, modo na siya ang mga object nga ginalabay na to or let us say, ginasipa kung asa dahil siya nag-project or asa nagpadulong. Kung 
kung unsa siya pinakataas na labay or unsa siya pinakataas na sipa. So, subject only to acceleration as a result of gravity. So, mode na siya ang um, ang projectile motion kung maglabay ka o bola example wala lang kuan nga gravity. So, so ang projectile motion dagkan kay na siya application sa physics o engineering. So ang example di ay sa projectile motion kay kanang meteors as the enter atmosphere, fireworks and the motion of any ball in sports. So kabantay mo kung nai fireworks, di ba taas man kay siya glupada ng fireworks din. Kung sa to yung pinakataas nga na point out sa fireworks, just imagine mo din to ang we call it apex or apex, apex siya siguro. So subject, ang tawag da sa mga object nga ginalabay na to or ginasipa, we call it projectiles. So basically, we call it projectiles like ball, the fireworks itself. Then kung ang tawag da sa ilang path nga nagian or natuan atong tawag na trajectory. So we will be going to the illustration uh, figure 4.11. Makita pang presentation nga nay kana lalaki nga nagsipag bola. Kanang run wala kay presentation ganina pa. Ay sorry. Sorry. Abi na ko ana. Sige na na. Oo, oh, kana na. Makita ninyo ang boy nga nagsipag og bola. Ah, oh, makita. So muna siya ang figure 4.11. So atong i-discussan na about sa total displacement so, as you can see, ang, ang lalaki nagsipa siya og bola. So, the total displacement of S of a soccer ball at a point along its path, muna siya ang displacement S ka ng arrow nga blue nga pagsipa sa boy sa bola. So, the vector S has components X and Y along the and vertical axis. So, we already know what is horizontal and vertical axis. That is X and Y. So its magnitude is S and it makes an angle theta with the horizontal. So to describe the projectile motion completely, we must include velocity and acceleration as well as displacement. So kung mag-discuss the projectile motion, permi na siya mag-include og acceleration, displacement, og velocity. Dili yun na siya mawala. So defining the positive direction to be upward, the components of accelera acceleration are then very simple. So A subscript Y equals negative G. So basically, the value of G is 9.8 meter per second, or basically, or pretty negative 9.8 meter per second square, or negative 32 feet second square. So, moto siyang value. Because gravity is vertical, a subscript x equals zero. If a subscript x equals zero, this means the initial velocity in the x direction is equals to the final velocity in the x direction, or v subscript x equals v subscript o zero x. Makita ninyo ang mabasa ninyo ang horizontal motion. Hello. Hey, kan lang run kay gagmay kayo. Kan na mabasa na. Kan ni. Eh. Ay makita. Okay. Uh Oo. -oh. Sige. So basically muna siya atong duha ka motion og muna siya ang mga equation nga gamito nato sa pagkuha sa mga given example. So sa horizontal motion natay one equation which is the 4.19. Then sa vertical motion, natay four equation. So using this set of equation, we can analyze projectile motion and muna siyang magkuhan sa itong important points. Makita ninyo, no? So, kanang ang mga equation, permanent ninyo siya memorize on kay kung magkuha ta o 
mga example o kanang answer mo na siya tong gamiton to substitute the values sa given nga example. So, gagmay jid ka, ayos siya no, di siya makita. <laughs> so, makita, ay kung di niyo makita na ay upat ka illustration ka ng figure 4.12 sa ibabaw ka ng white na ay upat ka illustration which is states about projectile motion, horizontal component, constant velocity, vertical component, constant acceleration, and total velocity at point. So, kana siya, na-analyze na na siya dito sa, sa diri sa PPT, kamo na lay basa dito kay dili yun siya makita diri sa koan. So, na-analyze na na siya, basically given na na siya. So, we will proceed with our example given. So, the example is all about the fireworks projectile explodes high and away. So, money siya example. The during a fireworks display, a shell is shot into the air with an initial speed of 70.0 meters per second and an angle of 75 degree above the horizontal. As illustrated in 4.13, the fuse is timed to ignite the shell just at its reaches its highest point above the ground. So ang highest point, we call it apex, right? So letter A, matang ko ang problem sa letter A, calculate the height at which the shell explodes. So sa letter B, how much time passes between the launch of the shell and the explosion? And let her see what is the horizontal displacement of the shell when it explodes. And let her D, what is the total displacement from the point of launch to the highest point? So, dili siya maklaro. So, ang H na to, ang height na to, 233 meters. So, ang ato da yung angle, 75 degree. Then, ang atong x it equals to 125 meters so so by height we use the illustration 2.4.23 katong gingon ganiya kani maklaro maklaro ninyo ang equation maklaro 4.23 muna siya tong gamiton for this problem so, by height, so muna siya itong gamiton. Since we know the initial and final velocity, so nag-given na ito ang initial and final velocities, ganiha, ito initial speed kaya 70 point meter per second and ang angle of 75 degree. So, we will use the equation. The equation is V squared subscript Y equals V squared squared subscript OY minus 2G minus Y minus y subscript 0. So because y subscript 0 and y subscript y, i v subscript y are both 0, the equation simplifies. So atong isimplify ang equation na magamayra siya. So ang metabo dahin, pag simplify na, tumay mo dahin siya o 0 equals v squared subscript 0y minus 2gy. Mundi ni siya itong makuita. Ani. Then, kung nasolve na nato, then masolve na nato din ang y ana siya after masimplify nato. Now, we must find the v. Sub... 15 minutes na. Ah, 15 minutes na. Sige, sige. So, uh, ikuan lang nako. So, kung makuha nato ninyo ang y o ang x niya, isubstitute lang to ang imong given nga Initial speed, kung unsa gipangayo sa equation, isubstitute lang, isubstitute lang tunin mo siya after masimplify sa kwan para magamayra ang equation. Then, pag sunod-sunod ma na din ang pagkuha sa answer kay isubstitute raman tunin mo, then nana po'y given nga equation. So, kung makuha na din tunin mo answer, ang makuha din nga answer sa letter D, kung shortcut lang siya, ang makuha nga answer 61.8 degree. And, mara din pa siya. So, ang uban nga kwa ni, ikwan lang nako dito sa gipapasa, igapasahan sa atong PPT. So, dili naman ako mag-discuss ang uniform circular motion o non-uniform circular motion. I will pass na lang it Japan dito sa gihatag ni Sir nga holder para inyo lang mabasa. So, basically, ang uniform circular motion, dalira ni siya kay Muragkwan na ni mong reduce o ang uban pa po din, given na po Mag-given ra ang mga uban numbers sa problem. So, maulang to. 
So mao lang to, thank you. I will kuan na lang dahil sa uban. Thank you. Okay, Ron, it's okay wala naka-discuss sa inyo. Si Tumataw, sir. Si Angola. Oh, Mariel. Uh, yes. Sige, can you, can you continue mga three minutes, Kira? If Billy makareport day karon sir, mag-proceed na sa night na topic. Dili makareport kay um ano man dili ka mag-report? Mag-report man sir. <laughs> sige sige. Because I want to hear from you also. No. Okay, sir, thank you. Sige, extend lang ta gamay no, Katirin. Makita ying. Dilik ko. Kena. Ada sedai. Ada apa? Ada apa? Ada apa kagak sih? Ada apa kagak sih? I sorry. Nana? Nana. Thank you, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I am going to discuss the topic 4.5 relative motion in one and two dimension. When you hear the word relative velocity, what comes up in your mind? Okay, for me, it talks about the velocity of an object relative to something else. Before we proceed to relative motion in two dimensions, we'll be going to discuss the relative motion in one dimension first. Let's see for example, nai sa ka person nga naglingkod sa train padulong sa east. Please bear with me, kagalisod, bidgog isto yung tungod sa kong Marple, guys. Kay Tingog Marian. Well, Angie, sorry. So, ganun. So, listen, na mo ni siya ang first gun na naglingkod sa train going to the east. First is the reference frame. Then, we can write the velocity of the Train with respect to the Earth as velocity of the train with respect to the Earth equals to 10 meter per second I hat. And it's now say na ang kani ang person nagtindog siya sa yung bangko and niadto siya pa backward which is to west and our negative direction. And then you have velocity is 2 meter per second. Then since nag-addo siya sa pa negative na direction, atong ibutang ang negative 2 meter per second, which is the velocity of person with respect to the train. We can add now the two velocity vectors to find the velocity of the person with respect to the earth. Mauni siya ang formula 
sa relative velocity. Velocity of the person with respect to the earth equals to the velocity of a person with respect to the train plus velocity of the train with respect to the earth. Since nakuha na nato ang mga values sa velocity of the person with respect to the train, ato na lang i ibutang. Sila it plus since Neg a negative 2 plus 10 since dili sila same og sign ato silang i deduct so the velocity of person with respect to the earth is equal to 8 meter per second so mao to siya ang relative motion in one dimension Okay, Marielle, please. Mm -hmm. Is that all of your concept now? Relative motion? Not wrong, Pastor. Uh, anyway, no, uh, everything that you have discussed is na araman sa slides. So, I think it will suffice na, no? So, uh, group three, congratulations for this very technical discussion, no? Um, uh, kayo ang concepts pagka-discuss. Okay. Congratulations, group three. Ron, uh, Mariel, uh, Frame. Okay, Frame. Um, Thank you, sir. Okay. But Thank you, sir. make sure na nai-copy dito sa drive, no? Para anytime we can review your topic. Yes, sir. Okay. So last, last but not the least, no? let's have group four. Group four, na mo? Yes, sir. Okay, Larry Lynn. Kasi mo ka uban? Si Rachel nga abarabar, sir. Rachel and kasi ay katulong ninyo. Si Catherine, sir, pero nagsakit man siya. Hindi siya kapil. Uh, we have two Catherines in this class. No? Catherine de la Rosa and isa na nga Catherine nga. No? Catherine Buhawi, sir. Buhawi. Uh, okay. But you can still no, 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 manage. Come on, Doha. Okay, Raman Gihapon. Okay, Raman Japan, sir. Pero gapin naman siya sa aming presentation. Okay, sige, sige. So, that timekeeper. Yes, sir. Okay, you, you can start now. Makita na ang akong... Makita na ang ako. Makita na ang ako ang... Nana. Ah, thank you, Ash. Nabapag... Hmm. 
Good day, everyone. So, uh, this discussion is the continuation from the previous reporters that talks about motion in two dimension. So, it shows that we will just give more information and further explanation and some example. To understand more the kinematics, which is the study of motion, we must explore motion in two and three dimensions. When we talk about two dimensions, it is a movement on a plane or a motion that takes place in two different directions at the same time. Three dimensions is a motion in space. We all know that most objects in our universe do not move in straight lines. Most motion follows curved trajectories. The curved path the curved path something takes as it moves through space. Motion in three dimension. When we say three dimension, it is a it is a motion in space which incorporates all the x, y, and z axes. While in two dimension, it has only x and y axes. and Catherine. Rachel. Rachel, mura na ninga part. Really? Okay, take one minute. Puli puli. Rish. Nas, Rachel. Hello. Dili madunggan. Two special types of motion. Ikaw na. Hello? Um, madunggan na ka. Madunggan na? Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Two special types of motion in two dimensions. Next, Larry Lynn. Hmm? Number of projectiles, motion. Motion of an object thrown or projected into the air suddenly to accelerate. Acceleration as a result of gravity. And the circular motion, a movement of an object while ro rotating a circular path can be either uniform or non-uniform. So, projectile motion is variation sa kanabitang ulang agi like this example.
Nasha. So, mo na siya ang person dili gisipan niya pataas. And then, by by gravity, ginahinahinay na siya, gina, gina drag ang ball pa padulong sa ground. And that is projectile motion. And number to a circular motion. Pariyan ni siya sa para anang sa celestial body sa Pariyan sa example ani circular motion is a celestial body. Next please. Displacement vector from the initial position to a final position on a trajectory of a particle. And position vectors. Vectors from, from the origin of a choosing coordinate system to the of a particle in two or three dimensional space. Promotion. Sa ako pang iyong ganina ito sa introduction pa lang, motion of an object subject only to acceleration of gravity. Katawang kung ganyan ang example. And then range from horizontal distance up distance a projectile travels. So ang ka maximum sa sa gidag projectile. Next Larry. Hi. K equations. K equations, position vector, displacement vector. Kani siya ang mga moral equations or mga formula para makuha na to ang position vector, displacement, and so on. Project, projectile motion in three dimension. Suppose that a particle moves in a box, 3D or a box, in three dimensions. So, ang kanin... Naata daw, bisag bigay. Naatay X, Y, o Z axis. Ang kanin P1, P2, ang kanin P1 is mauni siya ang ato ang first position and ang P2 mao dayon ang ato ang second position. Ang kanin red nga line nga nagpagikan sa P1 to P2, mauni siya ang ato ang change in position vector. Mauni siya kanin triangle art nga nai arrow sa ibabaw. Tapos ang kanin position 2, kanin R nga nai arrow tapos 2. Position 1 dayon ang R nga nai arrow tapos 1. So, kan, nag, nami isa ka example nga pagkuha o paghula ko siya kayo hula. The initial position of a bird is 1.0 km above the ground, 2. km north of origin and 
3.0 kilometer east of the origin, the bird moved 3.0 kilometer above the origin. 2.0 kilometer east of the origin and 1.0 kilometer south of the origin. Ang atuang equation sa pagkuha sa, sa position ni um, first position na itong kuha on the kanyang R sub 1 na may R sa babaw. Tapos kung second position is ang R sub 2 na may R sa babaw. R R sub 1 for position 1 is equal to X sub 1 I hand plus Y sub 1 J hand plus B sub 1 K hat. Position 2 is X sub 2 I hat plus Y sub 2 J hat plus D sub 2 K hat. Followed by equations of getting displacement vector and magnitude of displacement vector. sa pag-solve na ito sa ito ang problem at waon ng waon na ito ang given, x sub 1 is 3.0 km, y sub 1 is equal to 2.0 km, v sub 1 is equal to 1.0 km. So let's solve the first position given by r sub 1 is equal to x sub 1 i hat plus y sub 1 j hat plus v sub 1 k hat. I-substitute lang na ito ang atong, atong given dari sa ato ang equation. X sub 1 is 3.0 km I had. Ang ato ang Y sub 1, 2.0 km J had plus 1.0 km K had. Sumaw na ito ang ato ang first position. Kuaunasad na ito ang ito ang second position. Giving by x sub 2 is 2.0 km. Y sub 2 is equal to negative 1.0 km. Z sub 2 is equal to 3.0 km. Parehas sa Japan sa itong dibuhat kagaina at walang isubstitute ang ito ang given sa ito ang equation. X sub 2 I had is 2.0 km I had minus 1.0 km J had plus 3.0 km K had. Mauna ni ang ato ang second position. Sunod is ato ang i-compute ang position vector. Sa pagkuha sa position vector, tinanglano na ito ang ato ang first position of second position. Para makuha ang ato ang change in position vector, ang ato ang equation is delta R with R row sa babaw is equal to R sub 2 or position 2 minus position 1. Given by delta R is equal to 2.0 kilometer I had minus 1.0 kilometer J had plus 3.0 kilometer K had. Mauni siya ang ato ang nakuha sa position 2. Minus 3.0 km I had plus 2.0 km J had plus 1.0 km K had. Maupod ni ang ato ang first position. So kung atong isolve, delta R or the change in position vector is equal to negative 1.0 km I had Minus 3.0 km J hat plus 2.0 km K hat. Sunod na itong i-solve or kuhaon is ang, at, ang magnitude of the displacement of a verb between initial and final position. Delta R is equal to negative 1.0 km I hat minus 3.0 km J hat plus 2.0 km K had. Mauna niya nga ito ang nakuha kagay na sa ito ang change in position vector. Kuhao na sad na ito ang magnitude with the equation of delta R nga 
na ay kanin duha ka o online is equal to position 2 minus position 1. Magnitude of displacement is equal to negative 1.0 kilometer I had minus 3.0 kilometer J had plus 2.0 kilometer K had. Ato siyang substitute sa ato ang given equation. Huwag maon niya ang ato ang nakuha. 3.7 kilometer. Next na itong isolve is average velocity of the bird is time interval between initial position and final position. Excuse me, Marilyn. Yes, sir. Ati Rin already raised her hand. So I think time na cut. Okay. Okay. Marilyn, make sure na may copy ani sa itong drive, no? Uh, PowerPoint slides. Yes, sir. Uh, so that uh, you can, uh, those na gusto mag-review, tanaw lang sila, no? Mag Makakopy lang sila, download lang sila, kopya ni Yanni. Okay? So, group 4, congratulations, no? For your uh, topic, presentation. Larry Lynn and uh, Kung hindi mong kaoban, Larry Lynn. Si Rachel Abarabas. Okay. Okay, so I guess it's a wrap up now for the first four topics now. So congratulations, first four reporters. And then remind lang ko no sa next four. Okay. Can we, you know, can we double time next next meeting on Friday? I remember, no, kaga apasta kay na ulahita, so I think okay lah sa inyo class. Groups five, six, seven, and eight. Para sa ano next meeting. Paki take note ko Katerina. Para ma-remind na to. And then, uh, those uh, nag, ano mo, nag-record mo video, that's, that is a bonus. Para um, maka-review ang wala din hi karun. Uh, by the way, Katirin, no, pakicheck sa attendance. I-post lang ni mo sa, sa chat na to, group chat, ang attendance. Okay, sir. So, ano na lang, no? Uh, continue ta sa reporting sa Friday para maka maka catch up ta gamay, maka make up ta gamay sa tong delay. And then uh, before we dismiss, okay, mangutana sa ko sa inyo regarding your quiz. Ang quiz ninyo dapat naka G-forms siya good for 20 items. So para ano, uniform ang quiz. For each group, you should have part one sa inyong quiz is multiple choice, 10 points. So when you say multiple choice, A, B, C, D lang, okay na. So four choices. Objective lang na siya, no? And for the part two of your quiz should be problem solving. Another 10 points. So kanang 10 points, pwede niyo bahin nun sa dua ka problem. Para each problem should be 5 points each. So again, no, ang quiz ninyo dapat naka G-forms. Uh, first part is multiple choice. Second part is problem solving. Uh, question class? Klaro ba? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then, para matabangan ta mo bitaw, para maplaster inyo ang quiz, uh, you add me as collaborator sa inyo hang G forms. Na may na may ano 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 choice, na option ana sa G form, wherein you you add your members. Gamito lang niyo ang uh, email address niyo na, no? ang buksu buksu email address. And then I think kabalo naman mo sa kung email address. 
or ako ko lang hata sa inyo, uh, a.belio at buksu.edo.ph. So, muna inyo hang i-add dito. And immediately, that will send me my ano, copy of your uh, G-forms. So, ma-receive din ako na and then I could... I could check your items, no? Uh, I could, and I can go over with your items, and then I could help you to improve your items, kung necessary siya. So again, no? Add, add me or add my uh, email address as your collaborator, so that I could receive. Uh, what, that's what we call editor's link. So it's a link for me to uh, edit or help you edit your items. So, okay. So, it's time for me to ano na po, uh, present to you. Uh, by the way, class, no? remember na kining atong klase, baliduhan ni siya, kahug na lecture, and then at the same time, laboratory. So, that's why we are our class hours is 6 hours per week. So, gihi mo natong 3 hours, 3 hours. Tuesday and Friday. So, nahitabo lang ta karon nga medyo overtime ta kay nakapas mangod ka sa panahon, no? Kay late pa nakasugod. So, I hope everybody would understand nga sa reporting mangod mas mas gana kung naka ano ta no, naka synchronous synchronous ang ato ang discussion compared din yun atong recorded na daan. Pero magbapugi ako ng recorded para for the purpose of review. No? Now, ang ato na pong isugutan is insagid ang laboratory component ninyo. So, basically, we cannot do face-to-face -face laboratory activities din sa school because it's due to the pandemic. But we cannot also sacrifice the laboratory ano, component, uh, murag wala o na lang. Instead, uh, we use what we call simulations. That's why I encourage you to explore PET. No? So, naamoy, nakigi-assign sa inyo, no, katong Virtual Laboratory Activity 1, Projectile Motion. So, timing kayo class, Group 3 and Group 4, nag-mention na sila o projectile motion, no? Diba, rain? Rain and run? Yes, sir. As well as group 4, silang Larry Lin. So, kaduhagid na discuss ang projectile motion. So, actually, that there is a bit, uh, what this one? Activity for you to uh, perform individually. Kibali, ano lang ni siya, mura lang ni siya, o sample lang ninyo, no? Because later on, you're going to design your own laboratory activity. Pero ano lang yakon, virtual lang yakon, no? with the use of PET. So here, here it is, no? Ano siya? Last time ako ang gi, ano sa inyo, patuman tong CISO, no? Now this time, ang ako na pong issue sa inyo, ano lang, kanang short lang siyang uh, sample lang bitaw. Because you're going to do, to perform this one. Uh, so I could set the angular uh, uh, inclination of the cannon. Uh, so pwede, pwede 10, 20, 15, depende. No? And then I could set the initial speed. So matanta diri 20 meters per second. Pwede na in resistance or wala. Okay. Nakaset sa 0.60. And you can set measure, measuring devices. Oh, so, kung... Oh, layo kayo, no? So, atong kahinayan. Uh, let's see if... Sim pa bagi hapon ang may tabo. Uh, lower na na to initial speed. Okay. Uh, so, so that, that is the setup for your uh, project, projectile motion. So, ano na lang dayon, you, you follow the instructions 
sa VLA sheets provided for this activity. No? And then, ma-perform na tayo ninyo ni siya. So, overview lang ni siya, no? So, what if pagamian na tong angle, pero maura gihapon ang initial speed? Hmm, dito gihapon sa padulong. Okay? So, class, any clarification? Uh, may pangota na? Wala, sir. Okay na. No? So, uh, hopefully, no? uh, I'm, I'm very sure na malingaw mo, Ani. I-follow lang ninyo ang, ang procedure. Okay, nawala na si Rishil. So, okay, class, any other concern? I-check lang ninyo no, na ako yung mga updates sa, sa ato ang G class. Uh, but it doesn't mean nga uh, dunganon o submit na na, no? Naana sa kanya-kanya nga mga deadlines. So, follow-up lang ta. So, by the way, class, uh, ang inyuhang midterm po hon, um, Pulatan sa nato no nga mahumanta ng topics and then i had to mag midterm and then ah uh, concern any other concern our uh, is andy na kay wala uh, sir ah Uh, by the way, no, um, pilar, pilar mo kabuo ka ron? Huwag ka may lagi mo ba? Kung dili gani gihapon mo, tawag ani, eh, mo arang-arang ang weather, sige gihapon no, pinani ulan, ba, baha. So, ano na gilid? Uh, Back-up lang na lang ginato ang video. So, malang. Ro nag video ba mo ro nag record mo video ani sa inyong report? Yes sir. Ah sige lang dili man gyapon na masayang no mas maayo gani hinuon na kay uh, i-send lang na dito sa drive para ang katong wala din hi karon they could always anytime they could review your topic no? Okay ra ron? Yes sir, yes sir. Okay wala na tayong concern class so again na uh, uh, Kung na lang may concern, ano lang, sa group chat lang mo pag-post. Pag so, and then, uh, I hope ang next batch, maka-deliver sila, no? Uh, deliver sila sa Friday and hope sa Friday maayupod ang weather. Okay, class. So, for, at this moment, no? Uh, see you next meeting. No. Uh, goodbye. Stay safe and God bless. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. Sir.